Ultrasound assisted thoracic epidural anesthesia. First you have to mark the interlamina space from carded to cephalod or cephalod to carded. This is how you learn marking the interlamina space. This is how you get uh, obese patients for upper thoracic epidural. So how do you mark the interlamina spaces? By parasagittal technique you move the probe from carded to cephalod. You can see a continuous sub hyperacoustic shadow that is produced by the sacrum then a breakage that is the interlaminar space then you have the L5 that so you can see the L5 the L4 L3 you by using the M mode you can mark the midline between the two lamina that is your interlaminar space so this is how you are marked and you got the interlaminar spaces of L2 L3 so this is a patient coming for upper thoracic I have marked the interlaminar space local anesthesia is being given and this is a quite a long video I don't want to edit it so when an obese patient comes what are the problems and how easy it goes I want to show you so I am hitting a bone there so if you hit a bone that can be the lamina so what you do is take up to the skin level and then you move cephalomedial that I have done it and then I am using the old technique hanging drop technique I am quite interested in this technique so you put a drop of local anesthetic at the hub of the epidural needle and slowly keep advancing your epidural needle inch by inch so that you don't get into the thecal space so as you get into the epidural space the hanging drop will get sucked in so you will see that so you can see that almost all of the needle is inside still not yet slowly further more inside you can see the hanging drop there now it gets sucked in you can see there you can see that it goes inside okay. so leave there and then you thread your catheter so it's around 9 centimeters so I have to fix my catheter at 14 centimeters 5 centimeters inside the epidural space so these are the patients coming for uh, modified radical mastectomy where I do it in uh, upper thoracic or at uh, you find it very difficult I go for C71 level so what you do is thread the catheter as you know it is around 9, 9 to 9.5 centimeters so you need to get the catheter 20 centimeters inside and uh, there is a different technique of removing the epidural needle and the catheter hold it there and then you remove it this is uh, another technique so I have to fix it at 14 centimeters you can see the 19 centimeters there so I have to pull out 5 centimeters and fix it. Thank you. Thanks for watching.